Nook's waiting for who dad. But we've just come back from the vets. Because yesterday he um, he went from playing with a squeaky toy and 30 minutes later he was being sick and quite unresponsive. So we took him to the vets yesterday while he, where he had, um, they thought it was a twisted gut and they gave him x-rays, took bloods, shaved his belly and took an ultrasound um, and they can't see any sign of a twisted gut but they don't know again <laughs> they don't know what's wrong with him so we've just come back from the vets and he's had more pain relief and he's had more anti-sickness but he's he's just not nook at all he is so the spark's completely gone out of him he's not responsive to anything much I'm going to see what happens when who dad comes back because he's gone around to park the car this afternoon we have to go back to have um, a, a different ultrasound and um, we have to take him back anyway at quarter to four to see what's going on there he's got a actually got a cannula in his leg and he's had it there all night so they can administer more pain relief and drugs and whatnot good boy let's see what happens when who dad comes back A little bit more alert this morning. Oh, it's not here yet. Look. Definitely more alert this morning. Come in. Come on. No, no jumping up, is there? Come on. Mm. Come on. Look where we are. We've left poor Nook at the vets having an ultra scan. He's been referred to a vet about three miles away from Jamie's house. Poor thing. So we've popped in here waiting for him. tree to top it up with water <laughs> I do like his optimism sun cream <laughs> well I suppose the sun is out neat sure but Oh, he's here. What fence you up, mate? Oh. Oh, shit. 
birds on it. Filming the goldfinches. Yeah, just like this. <laughs> One, two, three, up, yeah, good boy. <laughs> I'd sit here all day watching those clouds. We've had to leave poor Nook at the vets at the um, hospital tonight, maybe even tomorrow. And he's got pancreatitis. They did his ultra scan and that's what they found. He was quite, the vet was quite um, surprised. He was quite thinking he would find it was just a case of a bad tummy bug or something like that. But... Um, he said he must have got hold of something really fatty to eat to cause it. So, um, I don't know, he, he was much better today when we went up there this morning. He was quite bright, the best he'd been for a few days. Um, but, obviously, it, it wasn't all gone like we thought it might have been. We hoped it might have been. So, um, he's up at the hospital. Um, for maybe a couple of days, I'm not sure, but the vet's going to ring tomorrow morning and we can ring a bit later on. So, um, I don't know. It's completely recoverable from, though it's not, um, it's not, you know, life-threatening or anything like that. But still, this is empty bed there. No knock to lie in his bed. I don't know where to focus when I'm I'm talking. <laughs> um, yeah, but if you'd seen him on um, uh, mon Monday morning, he was bit, he was like a zombie. He was very unresponsive. He he um, I took him up to the field because I thought he might a little run out might help him after he'd been sick. Because dogs are quite often sick, aren't they? For various reasons but the field is at the top of the hill so I walked him up there I didn't go out in the car I walked him up to the field and he kept stopping and he'd just stop and and stop in the middle of the path still on his lead because there was no point letting him off and he um, he'd stop and close his eyes or he'd lie down or he'd just stand and sway this is even before he had any um methadone he was on methadone before he had any of that so uh, we we knew there was something wrong so that's how it all started and of course he was off his food he was sick about three times and uh, well that's where we are so tomorrow hopefully tomorrow we can bring him home we can go up again the vets is um oh it's about an hour's drive away it's up by jamie where jamie lives it's actually a few minutes from jamie's house which is handy because we've been in there today for um while we waited so yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll bring him home so the, the house seems very strange very empty without him but anyway more updates tomorrow <laughs>